Theoretical lattice enthalpies of formation are based on the ions involved in the lattice. They aren't experimental values that have been measured. Unlike the lattice enthalpies of formation determined using born harbor cycles. For the theoretical values to work, we have to assume that all ions in a lattice are perfect spheres with only ionic interaction between them. For some compounds of covalent character, values for lattice enthalpies from born harbor cycles differ to the theoretical values obtained based solely on ionic attraction data. If the difference in electronegativity between the two ions in a compound is very large, over 2.2 on the Pauling scale, then the ions are in effect perfect spheres and are only held together in a lattice by electrostatic attraction between opposite charges. If the electronegativity difference between the elements in the lattice is smaller than this, then covalent character is exhibited and the ions are held together by both ionic attraction and the slight sharing of electrons, meaning the bond strength, or lattice enthalpy really, isn't purely based on ionic attraction and the theoretical values obtained start to deviate from related experimental values. We can see this when we compare the theoretical lattice enthalpies of formation of sodium chloride and silver chloride to the lattice enthalpies of formation found using experimental data and the born harbor cycle. Theoretical lattice enthalpy based on the ions involved in sodium chloride is minus 766 kilojoules per mole. The value based on the born harbor cycle using Hess's law and enthalpy changes from actual experiments gives us minus 787 kilojoules per mole. A very close value. Theoretical lattice enthalpy based on ions involved in silver chloride is minus 768 kilojoules per mole. The experimental value based on born harbor cycles from actual experimental data is minus 890 kilojoules per mole. Here, the theoretical value is further from the value obtained using experimental data from a born harbor cycle compared to that of sodium chloride. This is due to the smaller difference in electronegativity between the silver and chloride ions compared to the sodium and chloride ions. A lower difference in electronegativity gives the lattice covalent character, meaning you can't assume only ionic interaction between the ions. As the theoretical value only takes ionic attraction into account, it will give a different value to the one found using experimental data.